Hey guys, this is JSL53413 here um, with a Game Maker tutorial. And um, I'm going to be starting a new string of tutorials that are going to be drawing 3D objects in Game Maker so that you don't have to load in any objects. And I'll just leave the code in the description and you can add it into your game very easily without any downloads. So, first off, I'm doing three, three different trees here. Start with the first one. This is a pine tree. Uh, for the create event, this one, you just want z is equal to zero. It's pretty simple. But I'll still leave that in the description. Uh, as well as this. So, basically, it's saying if uh, the global cam X and global cam Y, which is your player's camera, its FPS camera, is within 600 pixels of this object, then it will draw the cylinder. Otherwise, it won't. That, or it'll draw aside the tree, otherwise it won't. And that'll save a whole bunch of room in your game and make it run so much smoother as far as uh, um, playing and not lagging because, you know, if you want to make a forest, you need like 20 trees. You know, you can't have a three tree forest. And when you do that, it makes your game like inch along, like er, 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 er kind of thing. But Let's start off with another tree. Alright, so I put three trees in this one. That one was a pine tree. Again, z is equal to zero. And this one's another pine tree, but a little bit smaller. Same thing. It's using background textures, so you're going to have to go to your to uh, your background thing up here. And, oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> background thing here create your background and then put its name in here if you don't you probably aren't going to know how to do this I'm probably you know preaching to the choir here but um yeah so those are two very very simple trees but they still look very nice as far as in your game goes um and the last tree we're going to do is going to be a lot more complicated um uh, so, for the create event of this one, not just z is equal to zero, but rotation is also equal to zero. And uh, you'll see why I need that in a second. And this one's a really nice looking tree, but very much more complicated. So there's a lot of scripting here. Um, so basically it's saying draw cylinder, you know, it's going to draw the main trunk of the tree. And it's going to draw the three elapsoids or circle, spherical, sorry. It's not a circle, it's a sphere because it's 3D um, on top. And then it's going to, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but it makes it look, look a lot better. So D3, D transform set identity, rotation Y50. So rotating at Y50 degrees in the Y axis. D3, D transform. Translation, so I'm adding in a translation, you know, X, Y, and Z. But um, I'm doing X plus 5 and Z minus 8, or Z plus 8, sorry, here, let me zoom that in. Z plus 8, yep. Um, uh, then you're going to draw this, it's going to draw the cylinder minus 1, minus 1, plus 10. And it's doing that, that's one of the branches. It's going to draw another cylinder the same way, only on the opposite side, y minus 50. Okay, and now, I have no idea what I just did. <laughs> Let's click on the information. We are going to start the game by clicking the green button, and if you don't know how to do that, you probably shouldn't be watching this tutorial, because you wouldn't uh, know how to start a 3D game anyway. And this, this is just drawing stuff in 3D, you only have to have a 3D engine. Or I like to call it an engine, basically a starter pack. So you already have to have you know D3D start and all that stuff. So here's my little 3D camera, and as you can see, here are all my trees. So this is the big pine tree. It's looking very nice. Yes, it is. And this is the little pine tree. Yes, it's a little pine tree. And this is the really complicated tree, but it looks really nice, I think. 
Some of you may think it looks like one of those judges from like the nine, like the 1800s with the weird things in their head, but I kind of like the way it looks, so don't judge because it's a lot harder to do this than you think. And then again, I'm going to show you the uh, lag resistance thingamajigger that happens with this uh, tree. So we're going to run off a little bit. Whee! And my base plate pretty much goes for forever. So. I don't have to worry about running off the edge. And if I do, so you see how this, I can see the other trees, but that one tree disappeared that we had the code, uh, and then if I get close enough, see, and it disappears, and it reappears. So, that's a very nice lag stopper. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I am JSL53413. I bid you all farewell.